So the excavation here is inside just the, the north of the guardhouse and out of defence of the Ribchester Roman fort. And we have a whole series of features that you can accept to be associated with that. Big stone walls, guardhouses, different road systems. Part of the which we're excavating is the Intervallum Road, which runs around the interior of the fort. And really excitingly behind that, we've got a whole series of different buildings which are repurposed across a series of several hundred years. Most of the upper levels of it that we've been excavating over the last three seasons have been really extremely late, and that's, that's brilliant. We know very little about late Roman and early post-Roman occupation in Northwest Britain, or actually in Roman Britain at all. As an IFR student, you get the opportunity not only to undertake excavation, so it's a fantastic, actually, archaeological site for you to learn, really, really detailed archaeological methods on. But we also undertake our environmental processing, environmental sampling on site as well. And those results are very exciting. They're showing us we've got a series of metalworking events in the south of, of the trench in the southern building as well. But also the archaeobotanical remains for the guardhouse have been very exciting as well, showing us that actually crop processing is probably taking place in and around the guardhouse in the late Roman fort. So the students get to see that evidence come out of the wet sieve plot as we're still excavating still as well, so that's helping inform the research project. Everybody gets the opportunity to, to do recording and they start off working in a team, so we'll never put anybody who doesn't know what they're doing on their own. And then as the course of the four weeks progresses, you will do excavation work and increasingly start to do it on your own until we get you making archaeological decisions. It's really, really, really important to us to, that people leave this project being able to think like archaeologists, and that's what it's all about. We have lots and lots of students who constantly come back uh, and grow over the course of many different years. And we have a fantastic turnout rate for, for students coming through the University of Central Lancashire who come here. We have about 85% of them go on into professional archaeologists. So you get to meet people who are actually being paid as professional archaeologists who will talk to you about the environment uh, and you know, explain to you how it works. It's a mixed team, so you've got IFR students, you've got students from the Australian National University and you've got students from our institution, the University of Central Lancashire. But one of the best and most rewarding things as being a site director is actually seeing that team bond together. They did a really good job of integrating a lot of different groups from a lot of different places and there, wasn't, there didn't seem to be any like disconnect, especially because the Americans and the Australians, we met each other like beforehand and sort of gotten used to like being in the UK. There didn't seem to be any kind of bumbling along, but at the same time there was like the hilarious mix of cultures you always get where we like debated th a lot of things about food and all that sort of stuff. I think we're all sort of at the point where we're like hilariously tired and delirious, but we also love it. And so many of us are like, yeah, I want to come back next year. Uh, this is my second year coming back to Ribchester and I, I love it. Uh, I like the way they work, um, the way they teach. Uh, they seem really, they're really approachable. Being on this dig has been great because it's given me a more practical understanding of what archaeology is. Being out here, getting in an actual hands-on feel, getting my hands dirty, so to speak, it's reinforced for me that, yes, I do enjoy doing this, and I would not mind doing this as a career. It's really important to us to have a very open policy. We sort of approach this as a, as a public archaeology project, and we have dozens and dozens of volunteers coming to excavate with us all the time. Uh, and we have hundreds of school kids coming to visit yeah. us. And part of, of what we, of what students really enjoy is giving site tours, explaining what's going on. And that gives you the opportunity to see the big picture. And that's a really great learning tool because it means that you start to consider the broader interpretive narrative of, of Ribchester and, and really what we're trying to achieve with the excavation project. And there's a huge outreach event for us. We had 500 visitors on that weekend in the past. We allow students to, to interact with that, to set up stalls, to work with local children, or you know, just to wander around and experience it, talk to reenactors, which can give you a slightly different perspective on the excavation when you come to look at the, the artifactual evidence. 
Ribchester is actually a relatively small village um, based within the beautiful countryside of Lancashire. We're right in the heart of the community actually and the community um, has very much engaged with the project having us here. We have the village hall as, as our base of operations. So we have um, dinners provided by um, an extremely good local caterer and then we camp in very close proximity um, to the village hall as well. And we run a whole series of evening activities as well. So we get the pub quiz. Yes. Uh, everyone gets together <laughs> in teams, international teams, international teams and answers yes. international questions, not just English questions. And then we have uh, film nights where we show videos. So there's a sort of a really good social programme attached to the project as well, which is great. Yeah.